war on cash is here and that's what I want to talk to you guys today about. It's kind of scary that these megalomaniacs are proposing what honestly is beginning to look more and more like the mark of the beast. And it's in a sense divine providence that we have gotten the gift of crypto during a time where technology is being used against us. Now, the war on cash has already started and we see their desire to use medical martial law as an excuse to keep us away from, from cash. And, well, that's, that's kind of like where we're at right now. And, and the Central Bank of Europe issued rec recently a report about what they call Central Bank Digital Currencies. And these currencies are not scarce. They're actually unlimited in supply, just like any central bank. They want to have the ability to print as much of their garbage as, as they deem fits their agenda. They, these will be, these will be uh, systems of mass surveillance. And if for any reason they don't agree with you, they will shut down your account and confiscate your capital from their accounts. So if cryptocurrency does not take over, if the market does not demand crypto as we're doing right now, and if we don't increase this demand worldwide in the near future, we might be meet, uh, dealing with a very grim uh, future with these central bank digital currencies. Um, recently, a stimulus bill for the macaroni virus decided to, to include uh, the notion, well, a proposition for what they call a Fed coin. And yeah, it is what it what it sounds like. They want a centralized digital currency. Now, yes, the war on cash is here. And they're trying to mimic central currencies. But we know that these central bankers will never be able to compare with the brilliance of of what is of what decentralized cryptocurrencies are and again we know that their end game is complete mass surveillance so Jeff Burke recently wrote something and I'm gonna quote him a little bit here he said that the whole point of central banking is communist style control over the issuance of money and that's if they control the money supply, they, they control everything. And they know that, and that's, that's been their end game. We know that socialism and communists, they hate competition. And governments and central banks, which are part of that design, they hate competition. And we know that cryptocurrency competes directly at their source of power. The money system itself. So, this is why we exist. This is why activists throughout the world, such as myself, dedicate our lives to teach people about cryptocurrency and cryptography and Austrian economics and operational security. And why is that? Because for us, is it's extremely important for people to not just buy cryptocurrency, but to first and foremost for them to to really learn how to how to navigate this new world of of, of freedom, of financial freedom. Thank God that cryptocurrencies are designed in a way in which they cannot be stopped. So we have that going for us, and. We know that they are that these uh, Fed coins and these these uh, centralized central bank 
digital currencies, we know that they that they are up against the powers of of economic law. So in a sense, their mere existence is pretty stupid. For example, Berwick said something really funny the other day. I'm going to read out for you guys. He says. As people begin to realize that they can't even pay their friend $10 on a bet on a football game without 30% of it being whisked away by the government, people will realize that they have to start looking for other alternatives, right? So imagine a world where everything you do is constantly surveilled. Everything you do is constantly monitored. And every single transaction, for no matter how stupid it is, person-to-person transaction, is immediately taxed by government, even if it's just giving your kid a $5 bill to go buy a candy uh, at the store down the street. I mean, as ridiculous as that, as that sounds, that could very well be the future that we're facing, unless we take inventory of, you know, of what we know and what we're doing and and we take matters into our hands and we choose to use free market cryptocurrencies. So, so who's all behind this? Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you uh, watching this have heard of the Frankfurt School. The Frankfurt School was the, uh, were the fathers of what we call social Marxism. Well, now they... And this is what's what's ironic to me, right? These the, these same entities now have blockchain institutes. So the Frankfurt Blockchain Institute put out a report about a month ago, two months ago, where their socialist agenda um, vouches for having these central bank digital currencies. <clears throat> And you hear a lot about this universal basic income. Well, they're going to use these centralized fiat to issue these communist rations that they call UBI, right? So it's all part of their plan. But we are not defenseless, right? We know that this is coming. and We've been knowing that this has been in the works. And the people of this world have participated in the most beautiful economic experiment in history, which is Bitcoin and all of the cryptocurrencies. So we have a way out. And and we either take that way out and we either focus on learning, not just investing blindly, but really learning about what constitutes a solid, good cryptocurrency, or we're just going to have to um, get ready for financial slavery. It's really up to us. Ed Bugos, our chief analyst and director of research at the um, Crypto Vigilante, said that the goal for these Fed coins is to lure people into giving up all their cash so that they cannot exit the banking system. (sighs) And under economic, monetary economic principles, we know that these Fed coins will not be good money. To start off, they will be centrally controlled. They will not be scarce. It will be a Surveillance apparatus, again, I'm repeating myself, but it's, you know, you guys, I really want to drive this home. Their whole purpose is to become a global surveillance apparatus unlike anything we've ever seen. Uh, Ludwig von Mises once wrote that sound money has two aspects. It is affirmative in approving the market's choice of a commonly used medium of exchange. In other words, the market chooses for itself what it finds best to use. So it's not centrally planned, right? And second, it is negative in obstructing 
the, govern the government's propensity to meddle with the currency system. So there you have it. Good money, good mediums of exchanges are free and they happen via spontaneous order. The market chooses what is best. But in order for to, to, to have that, you need freedom. And since there will always be megalomaniacs trying to control our medium of exchange, the market has responded by creating cryptocurrencies. And just like complete martial law is almost economically impossible for any government due to the fact that it would cost a lot of money to police everyone all the time unless they were to throw everyone into a concentration camp. In the same way, um, the issuance of a Fed coin or a central bank... Um, digital currency would be the ushering in of so of a socialist banking structure in other words to do this would be akin to restructuring the entire global banking system where at, le at least where banking is free right like in the US right you have competing bank commercial banks but then with if if if, if the federal Reserve would to institute a Fed coin, it would be in direct, it would be antagonistic to the commercial bank's interest. So the socialists at the Frankfurt Institute call this disintermediation, which is the, uh, the negation or the destruction of central bank, uh, of commercial banks. So if they were to institute this in the United States, uh, the United States will look a lot more like Argentina than the U.S., which would be a shame. And this disintermediation would result in the central banks issuing money directly to the world of retail and to end users meaning that instead of being assured by FDIC insurance through your commercial bank you would find it more beneficial if that if this were to be the case to go straight to the federal to the uh, federal reserve and to do your business with the central bank and under the pretense of equality and fairness and anti-capitalism these socialists would love this again so that they could push their universal basic rations and complete the plan of silencing anyone who has a wrong opinion according to them so we are in a we are in very interesting time ladies and gentlemen and the beautiful thing is is that as libertarians we know that there will be no central authority no no bank uh, coming to rescue us we know that when it comes down to it, it's gonna be up to us to prepare ourselves to educate one another and to create alternative systems of exchange now at the crypto vigilante we we don't only talk about the cryptocurrency fads of the moment because that's kind of trite um, cryptocurrency is much more broad than that and deep than that so we really get down to the uh, crypto anarchist principles and really examine things from all perspectives so for those out there that are more stoic in dealing with the world as it is if you are of the Randian objectivist persuasion. We do not at all discriminate against your ideas. We actually find you, your capitalist understanding of the world as is and dealing with government law as is as something that is worthy of discussing. Um, we also talk about creating alternative systems for people who live under oppression. 
and we talk about privacy and fungibility and the importance of having good operational security. So we're the only newsletter that will teach you and give you good, a, good, a very good foundation in proper operational security. If you're watching this right now, um, by now our sale has ended and I want to let you guys know something very important and that's that you know we what we do is our service in teaching you guys about these technologies um, it, this is really our vocation you know this is our vocation because we we understand what's ahead we understand what humanity's facing right now we understand what the end game is here and our goal is to teach you guys we're not here promising like many newsletters out there these are the X number of coins that will go to a million dollars tomorrow no man I mean that's that's a lot of hype but if you if you really understand cryptocurrency and what cryptocurrency is for you're not gonna be you, you don't see this as a hype you see this as real value right and you and you and you and you can understand you'll be able to understand and explain the real value and how to really work with these technologies and that's what we strive for we don't only want you guys to to know about the crypto assets and for you guys to if you guys choose to you know invest in them yeah go for it but really to learn how to protect yourself in this new age how to secure your privacy your financial freedom and that's something we take a lot of pride in right so we're not your, your we're not your Frankfurt Blockchain Institute or your statist um, Wall Street or recently mainstream financial investor that can no longer deny the importance of cryptocurrency. No, we're the guys that have been there from the beginning. And alongside with Berwick, Ed Bugos, Mr. X and Mr. W. We welcome all of the, everyone that's n a new subscriber, and we we want you guys to know that we are doing our best to keep things as affordable as possible for everyone, because we need as many people as possible to be well versed in cryptocurrency and in cryptography for what's ahead. We are only as safe as our peer nodes are safe our human nodes are safe so that's kind of uh, where we're at we, you know we take this very very serious and we want to make sure that you guys really know your stuff and that you guys are secure so with us you know we'll give you at least four reports a week and by far guys I know we're the cheapest newsletter in the world, especially for the quality of content that we produce. And, and yes, I'm saying this because it is the truth and it is the reality. And because I'm proud of that reality that we're able to offer this. Um, yeah, we really, we really, uh, we need as many people as possible to be well versed in cryptocurrency. And I mean, not just the fad, whatever's the fad right now. I'm talking about the real deal. And to really understand what these technologies are about, these are not just get-rich-quick schemes. If that was the case, I mean, they, weren't, they wouldn't be worth what they are now. I mean, the, the, their proof of work in themselves shows us that these things are solid. And I can get into the fundamentals of it and talk for days about it. But that's what we actually do in the newsletter. So in spite of us not no longer having the sale, we're still we're still the cheapest newsletter in the space. Uh, we have competitors that charge five thousand dollars a year. One of these competitors actually thought that Monero was an ERC twenty token, which it's it's like we, we just laugh about this all the time. Like really, you thought Monero was an was part of the Ethereum network, really? And come on, um, we have other competitors that that are very, very quick in telling people about these amazing, incredible gains and 
nothing but hype and then and then you, you find these same people losing up to over 70 percent in the one month it, so it's you know like the frankfurt blockchain institute now everyone has an opinion on on, on on blockchain and cryptocurrency everyone in the world has an opinion and everyone is an expert um i i alongside many cypherpunks that came into bitcoin early you know we a lot of these guys have, have kept quiet and they don't the guys that know the most are not out there speaking i saw jeff berwick uh, doing this on his own and he's like raf let's do this and i couldn't keep myself from from saying yeah let's do this and i brought along with me the most badass um person that i can think of to to, to, to do this with me that's mr x and then Mr. X and I, we mutually knew who is now Mr. W from our path in crypto. And we've been we've always respected his work. He's just incredible. And he's the newest member of our team, and we're really happy to have him. So we got Mr. X, Mr. W, Ed Bugos, Jeff Berwick, and myself. And this is our vocation, guys. And in a sense, yes, we, I mean, we want, we, we want to be as affordable as possible, but we also have to be sustainable as a service. So know that we're still way cheaper in our competition. Know that, know that you are getting the uh, crypto anarchist perspective that is focused and based on Austrian economics. Um... Know that just holding cryptocurrency is not enough. It's, you have to know how to hold it. When people ask me, hey, Raf, what do I do? What do I buy? It? I'm like, you know what? The, the best investment you can do is, you can have is, you go just rent yourself an Airbnb. Take your laptop, take your computer, and sit down for two weeks. And just read material that I'll send you. And that's what kind of has been my answer for many years. Because the... Uh, the learning curve is steep and a lot of people are recognizing just by they're recognizing just by by the state of of, uh, of the world you know people are realizing that that there has to be an alternative to these to this banking system that has created a century of total war that now wants to financially enslave everyone through their digital currencies. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share these thoughts with you. I promise you that I will put out a, a, as much content as possible from now on to help as many people as possible as we move into another shutdown of the macaroni virus and yeah thank you for listening and i mean i don't want to live i don't, don't want to leave you guys on a note that's a little bit melancholic I, i'd rather just leave you guys with the with the sense of 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 hope because Honestly, where would we be right now if it weren't for for Bitcoin? And uh, just ask yourself that question. Where would you be right now? What what would you hope in right now for the world if, if it weren't for Bitcoin, if it weren't for cryptocurrency? And no matter what your favorite coin is, I know that we would all agree that we, we are in a much better place. And... And since we're given this, this beautiful gift of cryptocurrency, I say we do our best in cherishing it and in learning about it and in teaching pe as many people as possible about this beautiful gift. So, till next time, guys. Bitcoin on. Take care.